Hey there, riders. I'm Wild Rider. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Helps the channel grow. Helps the channel show up in more of the YouTube algorithm. Fight the algorithm. <laughs> Yep, welcome to another episode. Today's topic, communication devices. I'm currently in the market of looking for communication devices and pretty much um, the two major ones out there are uh, Cardo and Senna. And I guess my question is, is uh, if you use a uh, communication device for ride with groups and such, which one do you use? Which one in your experience turned out to be the best and has the better one? Now I've gone on the market and looked at various ones in regards to how many groups does it go to and are they interconnecting? Uh, and one way in which I found out is that some of these places and some of these groups, say like a photogrammer, he's found that if his uh, buddies happen to have mismatched type and they're going to be in riding the city or in their group or around is that he uses the discord to help everyone link up together so long as you have a, like a unlimited data plan that helps out quite a bit and i started thinking it's like hey that's a good idea so i was looking around on the market and i did find a scene at a senna whatever you want to call it, a Senna device that got up to about 900 yards for groups. Uh, I think it allows up to like four connections. It's like, okay, that comes with a problem there. Because what if I ride in a big group and I want to connect with all of them? And or what if I want to ride with a group down to uh, Florida or ride up at the group up north when I do my north run? Unfortunately, I'll be doing that solo as my wife are going up to the Mackinac Alley Rally, Mackinac City, first annual motorcycle. Yeah, let's get this right. The first annual Mackinac City Motorcycle Rally. And I'll be riding up there on the bike. She'll be taking the SUV with all the camping gear and stuff. Since we got went to the we picked the got reservations for the campsite probably about as soon as that rally hit when I told the wife what t what day it was she's like yeah let's go I'm like all right cool and I know that there's going to be a couple of motor vloggers up there yeah, it'd be nice to meet some other people as well I am trying to get some of the people from uh Florida to come up, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Uh, a few of them, I believe that they're going over to uh, the West Virginia motorcycle motor meet. Since it's less of a ride for them to drive all the way up to Michigan. Which is cool. Yeah, 
so going back to the topic at hand <laughs> that's this I actually found a package which comes with the intercom headset to hook up to the helmet not for a Buell Bell Buell Bell Buell it costs like 126 bucks over on Amazon. 900 yards. Look all right. We found a so I found a good headset there. I'm just kind of wondering if I should pull the trigger at all for that at all or not. And the wife expressed an interest in wanting a ride. I think I might have mentioned that in another another episode. Wanting to ride on the back of the bike. So it's like, do I buy the single or do I buy a double? Yeah, so go ahead and uh, lay a comment inside there. Let me know what you prefer. And as always, like, subscribe, and hit that uh, bell there. That way you'll be notified of uh, new episodes. I tend to release every uh, Sunday and Wednesday. As always, ride safe, and I'll see you at the next ride.